Data Axle appoints Andrew Frawley as its chief executive officer. Let's get into it. And welcome to Innovate Marketing Daily. Today is February 7th, 2024. My name is Sean P. Neal, and we are brought to you by mypodcast.media. Mypodcast.media produces amazing podcasts for brands just like yours. So if you're considering launching a podcast, make sure you visit mypodcast.media. All right, we've got a great show for you today. So without further ado... And thanks so much for joining me on this seventh day of February 2024. We are quickly approaching the midway point of Q1. And I, I want to tell you, I was thinking about this this morning and just the fact that, you know, things don't always go exactly as planned. And sometimes that is what completely derails the plan itself. So if you remember back in the end of 2023, We were talking a lot about, you know, goals for Q1 of 2024. And so this is just a quick check-in reminder for you to look at where you're at, what you're doing. Are those actionable items working? Do you need to pivot? Do you need to be able to adapt a little bit and change the, the maybe, you know, the target or the target date or how you're getting there on the strategy? It's okay. And I think that if there's nothing else I can do for you today, but just remind you, that it's okay if we have to adapt. Adaptability is one of the keys to successes. So holding on dearly to what you thought it was going to be or how it should be or how it should work because everything told you that's how it should work, holding on to that can be futile. So making sure that you're being transparent and open and honest with yourself, with everyone around you about what's going on so that you can adapt, so that you can move smoothly and accomplish those goals that you're after. All right, now, enough of that pep talk. Let's tell you about this story. This is a good one today, coming to us from Dallas, Texas. They do have sunshine in Dallas, I hear. There's a whole story behind the sunshine thing, I'll tell you later, but... All right, from Dallas, Texas, that's where Data Axle, a leader in data-driven marketing and business intelligence solutions, announced the appointment of Andrew Frawley as its chief executive officer. Very cool. Congratulations, Andrew. Let's pause for an applause. Now, Frawley brings over three decades of proven leadership experience in technology, data, and marketing to this role. All right, before we go any further, I want to talk just a little bit about Data Axle, who they are, what they do, and then, of course, we'll get back into this and talk about Andrew and celebrate this for it with him. So, Established in 1972, Data Axle has been a pioneering force, leveraging data to fuel innovation, drive business growth, and empower clients since its inception. Now, Data Axle is a leader in augmented intelligence. They improve business performance through data solutions and omni channel marketing services, enabling their clients to acquire, grow, and retain their customers more efficiently and effectively and enhance their platforms, products, and customer insights. All right, now with that context behind us, let's talk a little bit about Andrew's new appointment here. Because he'll play a pivotal role in furthering Data Axel's position as a leading provider of B2B and B2C data and real-time business intelligence solutions for enterprise, small business, and nonprofit organizations. Now with a deep knowledge of marketing data, analytics, SaaS, and professional service, uh, services probably will be a valuable asset to further Data Axel's commitment to providing superior service and measurable results in its mission to help clients become augmented intelligence companies. Now, this is kind of good to know. So, Data Axel's former CEO, Mike Lesserino, he'll be leaving to run a European based direct marketing business. And Frawley and Lasserino have a 25-year history of deep partnerships in the direct marketing space, and both are former CEOs of Epsilon. Now, true to Data Axel's mission to help businesses achieve their goals through data, technology, and services, Andrew will be uh, spearheading new company initiatives and furthering its commitment to rapid growth and industry-leading client solutions. So 
Those things include a couple of items here. The first one is infusing AI and augmented intelligence across data axle solutions. And the second is developing next generation applications to improve clients' marketing effectiveness and efficiency. And of course, he'll just be maintaining the already consistent uh, standard of quality that they have with all of their clients. So it sounds like, you know, with Frawley at the helm, the company is well positioned to beckon in the next era of marketing revolution. All right, good stuff happening there at Data Axel. Please, wherever you're watching or listening, make sure you reach into that comment section and just give a shout out to Andrew and to everyone at the team at Data Axel as he comes in and uh, assumes this new role. And it, it's a time of growth. It is a time of growth. And we are here celebrating that with Data Axel. Now, one thing that we always want to remind you is that it's real easy to help innovate marketing grow as well. All you have to do, very simply, is look for that subscribe button and somewhere on your screen. It looks a little bit like this. And when you find it, just click or tap it, whatever the case may be. Click, tap, click, tap, tap, click, whatever. When you do that, you're going to find that you'll get notified Monday through Friday when we come on here and bring you great stories like this. These are stories about marketing and branding and business growth, and they are all positive, focused stories. Stories that you can feel good about and stories that you can celebrate in and stories that you can learn from. So do that, help us grow, share this with somebody. That would be fantastic too. And I guess that's my time. That's what I'm being told. So until we meet again, my friends, please stay safe and be well. See ya.